Hello, my name is Jordan Gaskell. I am the Young Independence Chairman for the United Kingdom Independence Party. Today, I would like to talk to people about the truth behind the illegal immigration and asylum seekers coming to this country. Now, this is nothing personal. This is going off facts. Okay? Now, for starters, you wonder why there's an housing shortage in this country. Because we are letting in more people than we can build homes. Do you want to know why unemployment is constantly increasing? Because, again, we are letting in more people into this country than we can provide jobs. Now, you've got to be realistic here. You can't allow feelings to get in the way. You have to think logically when dealing with these situations. It's not that I'm not sympathetic to some of the people coming over. It's the fact that we are full up and cannot possibly support so many people with the infrastructure of this country. Now, there's rules in regards to asylum seeking for refugees to obey. Now, you're supposed to seek asylum in the first safe country that you reach. And many of these are not doing that. Let's say for Syria, for example. Let's use that as an example, one of the closest options we can. To get here, you have to go through Turkey, which is a safe country, then through Greece, then through Bulgaria, then through Romania, then to Hungary, then to Austria, then to Germany, and to actually get across the Channel safely, for the most part, through France. And even then, it's not guaranteed safety for you, which is an unnecessary journey as it is to go through another country there. It's unnecessary to begin with because you've already gone through countless safe countries. And of course, as many have seen, there's been many deaths in the channel, which is quite unfortunate. But this is why we have to make a stand to stop people coming through over the channel. Once you've gone through all those countries to get here, you are no longer seeking asylum. You are no longer a refugee. You are an economic migrant. That is where it's different. This is not meant to be personal or offensive. It's honest. If you go through countless safe countries and then say you're trying to flee danger, then you're no longer fleeing danger. You're going for the best economic option for yourself. And the problem is with that, our economic infrastructure decays. Our quality of life decays. There's only so much we can take of it. I'm not against allowing people to have refuge here in asylum. I'm not against people coming over. I'm against mass immigration, against its giant hordes effectively of people. You've got to be realistic and there has to be a cap, a limit. And there is no limit to what this government, this Tory government that we have in charge of this country today, they have no limit and no intention of stopping this. They've talked about it for ages, but they have done nothing. Patel has failed. We need a party that will make the changes we need. A party that will stand up to this. Someone who's going to be realistic. Now, it's not racist. It's not personal. It's common sense. I favour my party's policies on the issue. The United Kingdom Independence Party's manifesto states that we will withdraw from the 1951 UN Refugee Convention and the Global Migration Compact. Now, as it states in the UK manifesto, that's what we're exactly going to do with a few other treaties we will withdraw from. This isn't meaning that we're going to completely stop anybody from coming into the country. It means we're going to have a sensible and realistic cap, just like we need. It'll give us the power to stand up to people coming over and give us the legal free will to actually act on the matter. It's time for common sense. It's time for a party like UKIP. It's time for some realistic change. Thank you very much for watching. And don't forget, join UKIP, make a stand. It's time to be realistic and have common sense.